made the decision to put Marcus on the bench recently against Wolves because he'd been you know, late for the meeting and whatnot. It was a very bold and brave call given how he was playing. Um, did, you, did you ever see that as a risk that could blow up in your face if it didn't come off? Like similarly when you got beat at Brentford, you called them in the day after and you led them on the run. Again, they were two big calls that had they not reacted in the right way could have led to problems ongoing, management-wise. Did, did you ever see them as a risk, or did you always think these players have got the mentality, it just needs to be brought out of them, and it maybe hasn't been before? Maybe it's a risk, but if you want to, um, to develop something, if you want to uh, create a winning attitude, a winning culture, you have to go this way, in my opinion. And everyone is doing it in his own way, but if you allow them uh, to be undisciplined, um, if they don't match the standards and values, uh, the rules uh, we set together as a team, uh, that is staff, uh, that is players, dressing room, uh, and togetherness, then it will come back and that will blow in your face on the pitch because they don't then also on the pitch, they will not. Uh, will act in discipline what is necessary to win games. Uh, it's about top football, so it's about big responsibilities. And so, in my opinion, you have to go this way. Until you actually see the reaction to it, though, you can know it's the right thing to do, but until you get the right reaction, you're always going to be thinking, how's this going to go? So you must be delighted with how the response you did get to it. <laughs> if it's... The, if it's, if it's the right person, if the right human beings, eh? so the right characters, eh? they will react like this. And um, so, and in relation to Marcos, I was f quite convinced. Uh, as I know him now, uh, seven, eight months, I could expect uh, this uh, reaction he showed. Uh, Eric, when Marcus is doing so well, I think he's got 13 goals now, is, is there a slight concern that the attack is becoming <coughs> too reliant on him? I think Anthony's next top scoring five goals and he's been substituted in his last seven games. It, do, do you fear there's a, there's a, there could be more pressure on Marcus or he can handle that? You mean uh, Anthony Martial? Is it? That, that, obviously anthony has been substituted, but yeah, he's but second that, top scorer. Yeah, but that is a re has a reason because he can't um, match in this moment the load for many games. That's why <laughs> we are looking for uh, another striker. It's not about that we don't rely on him, but uh, his physical uh, load is not in this moment um, so high that he can, uh, can play every third game, uh, every third day, a game of 90 minutes. So I have to manage that together with him. And so we are really on a thin line in this moment um, because his um, profile, but uh, the quality of Anthony Martial is so important for our match, for our game. Um, uh, he, he's the right to uh, uh, his movements, his ball security. Um, so he brings so, so a lot for a team, the pressing, Let's not forget that. Um, so we need that profile uh, to be a threat. And also Marcus Rashford uh, takes benefit from that. Um, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about that only Marcus Rashford is scoring so many goals. Because I'm convinced that also other players, as Martial, but also today, Anthony Dos Santos uh, can score also a goal. And we you know all Bruno Fernandes is also very capable to score a goal. And Christian Eriksen will create and also is capable to score a goal. So we have more players who can score goals. Last question. Um, as a manager with seven wins <coughs> in a row, is that when you're particularly mindful or watchful of any signs of complacency creeping in? Yeah, yeah. You have to you have to be watchful for this. Uh, X. Um, we have to keep this focus um, and this concentration. We have to to work well. Uh, during the days uh, we, are, we are training, um, we have to keep the focus. Um, when we go to games, we have to start with the right attitude. Uh, and when you don't, because uh, we, we talked before, 
I think the the level in the Premier League is that high. Hey, if you are not, hey, you get hammered. Hey, if you don't bring the mental or physical uh, output, hey, you get hammered. So we have to, to avoid that hey, by uh, keep working well and do the right things.